of a woman that I admire the most. A woman that I greatly admire. I about a woman who inspired me. Influential woman in my life. That's my, my wife. wife. My, my mom. mom. Hey, my grandmother. My, my sister. sister. My daughter. My high English school teacher. Her name is Maya Angelou. Cecilia Gordon Rogers. And this Dolores Dingle. And Joan Sheck. Lucille Grant Gibbs. Serena James. What's up, guys? Chris Singleton here, inspirational speaker and author. I wanted to really quickly get on here and talk about uh, one woman that inspires me. Her name is Maya Angelou, a uh, phenomenal poet. And the thing that really inspired me the most is when she has a, a, a poem or a statement that says, uh, I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. And this means so much to me, right? I think about my ancestors, people that have uh, scratched and clawed to stay alive. I think about my great grandparents that were determined to make a way for you know, their kids and then their kids and then me. And so when I think about that quote, man, uh, it just it truly embodies how powerful of a woman she was. That's why I think Maya Angelou uh, inspires me to be a great human being. As a young black man, I know that I need to keep continue to push forward for all the people that have come before me in my legacy. I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. A woman that I love, respect, appreciate, admire, adore. My wife, Latoya Lewis. Um, she does everything for me, um, from making sure that I have, you know, clean clothes every day to making sure that, you know, there's food um, made and that I, I eat dinner and all those things. It's supporting my goals and aspirations. Um, I always say that if I decided that I wanted to be an astronaut, Toya would go out and find all the NASA manuals and bring them back to me so that I could have my best chance of making it. Um, she keeps me sane when I'm losing my mind and I'm running like a chick with my head cut off. She makes me slow down um, and, and just reminds me that you know the room wasn't built in a day and I, I can do anything. She builds me up. Um, she helps me to maintain that confidence that sometimes lacks when things do go wrong, which they do. She listens to me vent. Um, it's so great to know that I can talk to her and have somebody who will listen. And most of all, she deals with my nonsense. <laughs> that may not be the easiest thing to deal with for some people, but she definitely gets it and she processes it and she allows me to be me and be the best version and most total version of myself as I possibly can be. So if I was to pick one woman that I could give that title to, it would be my wife, Latoya Lewis. This is Damon Fordham, and I'd like to speak for, about the woman who I most admire, who is still alive, and that's my sister, Bobby, known to the rest of the world as Barbara Birch Austin. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, in absence of my mother, she is definitely my confidant in the world. And when I had COVID very recently, she literally prayed me back to health. And she's the person who I could always go to for very honest and reassuring um, advice. And even when I don't want to hear it, she tells it to me, which is, of course, a very good thing. So she's also a great mother to her kids. She took in foster kids who nobody else would and so forth. And she's been through way more than I have and still retains a godly spirit. So that's why Barbara Austin is the woman who I most admire and cherish in the world right now. Thank you. Mayor Tecklenburg here, and I was asked to uh, speak on a woman who had inspired me. And I know it may sound a little corny, but that person for my, me in my life is my mom. And uh, here's a picture of mom and uh, my dad. Uh, she raised five boys, which is a, a big feat in itself. Um, this is a, um, a plaque of which she was most proud. And, and I think the thing that I'm most proud of her and that inspired so many people, when um, in the 60s, we were living in Orangeburg and that's when the Orangeburg massacre occurred. And she joined the board of South Carolina State College as it was known then, now South Carolina State University. And she gave herself to bringing the community together after it had been torn apart by a race riot. Um, and she went on when we moved back to Charleston to serve on Charleston City Council and always serving the public. She helped open the homeless shelter here in Charleston. So she was just a real inspiration of public service. But um, I, I thought I'd share this because she was most proud of her service for South Carolina State College and bringing the community back together. It's a, a goal that I think I aspire to, and I think we could all aspire to, to bring people together. God bless. I would like to take a moment to honor an amazing woman in my life whom I love very dearly, and that inspires me every day. That's my wife, Shakina White. 
She exemplifies the strength, the humility, the poise, the grace that goes beyond anything that I could ever imagine. Over the years, I've watched her handle life like a boss, whether it be success, career, love, family, happiness, even grief and sadness. Her hope and her faith, no matter the moment in time, is what I like to call the epitome of a Proverbs 31 woman. She's clothed in strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear, without fear of the future. So I honor you today, my sweet wife. I'm blessed to have the honor and the privilege to take this journey called life with you and for you to be right by my side and for me to learn so much from you each and every day. I love you and God bless you. Hello, my name is Butch Kennedy. I just want to take this opportunity to thank all the men that participated in this project. The woman I respect and admire. And the project is near and dear to our heart at the Palmetto Hope Network, the home of real mad, real men against domestic violence. For years, I've been talking about my amazing wife and all her amazing accomplishments. And it's so refreshing to hear from other men about their ama amazing significant others as well. So this one, ladies, is for you. I hope you sit back and enjoy the woman I respect and admire.